World War II saw the rise of propaganda, an instrument wielded by both sides of the conflict. This psychological tool, as potent as any physical weapon, was used to shape perceptions, influence emotions, and guide actions. Propaganda was like the invisible hand guiding the public's thoughts, attitudes, and beliefs. The facilitators of this mass persuasion, posters, movies, and radio broadcasts, these were the platforms that provided the stage for the propaganda performances. Posters, vibrant and eye-catching, found their way into every corner of society, from city streets to rural post offices. These visual messages, rich in symbolism, were designed to stir emotions, to rally people behind the cause, or to demonize the enemy. Then, we had the movies. These were not your usual Friday night flicks. They were meticulously crafted narratives, filled with carefully chosen images and dialogue. These films painted a picture of a world where the only options were victory or defeat, survival or annihilation. And let's not forget the radio broadcasts. Voices, powerful and persuasive, echoed through homes, whispering tales of heroism and villainy, of sacrifice and survival. These broadcasts were the soundtrack of the era, a constant reminder of the stakes at play. Propaganda was deployed to encourage support for the war. It created a sense of unity, a collective purpose. It made people feel part of something bigger, something worth fighting for. But it also had a darker side. Propaganda was used to fuel hatred, to dehumanize the enemy, to make them appear as a threat that needed to be eliminated. Propaganda's pervasive influence during World War II demonstrates how ideas, when manipulated, can shape the course of history. It's a testament to the power of persuasion, a reminder that, even in the midst of chaos and conflict, the battle for hearts and minds is just as critical as the fight on the front line. Racism played a significant role during the course of World War II. One cannot talk about the Second World War without acknowledging the dark and pervasive influence of racist ideologies, which ultimately led to some of the most horrific acts of violence in human history. The Nazis, under the leadership of Adolf Hitler, held a deep-seated belief in the superiority of the Aryan race. This belief was not only held by Hitler and his associates, but was systematically propagated throughout German society. The Aryan race, according to the Nazis, was the master race, superior to all others. This dangerous ideology of racial supremacy was used to justify unspeakable atrocities. This belief in racial superiority did not stop at elevating one group, but went hand in hand with the denigration and dehumanization of others. Jews, along with other minority groups such as the Roma and the disabled, were seen as less than human, as threats to the purity and strength of the Aryan race. And it was this dehumanization, this stripping away of humanity, that paved the way for the Holocaust. The genocide resulted in the brutal murder of six million Jews, an act of violence unparalleled in its scale and systematic nature. The concentration camps, the gas chambers, the mass shootings, these are the horrific consequences of racism unleashed. But it wasn't just the Jews. Other minority groups suffered too. The Roma people were subjected to a genocide of their own, with estimates suggesting hundreds of thousands perished under Nazi rule. People of African descent, homosexuals, the disabled, and many others were targeted, persecuted, and killed all in the name of racial purity. The catastrophic consequences of racism in World War II serve as a stark reminder of the dangers of racial prejudice. This chapter of our history serves as a potent warning about the depths to which humanity can sink when blinded by hatred and prejudice. It is a reminder that we must constantly strive to fight against racism, in all its forms, at every level of society. The war years saw a significant shift in the roles women played in society. As World War II raged on, women found themselves stepping into roles traditionally held by men. With many men enlisted and fighting overseas, women took up these roles, not just out of necessity, but also as a testament to their resilience and adaptability. Let's take a look at the factories first. As the demand for war materials surged, it was women who filled the factories, operating machinery, assembling equipment, and essentially driving the engine of the war economy. They became welders, riveters, and electricians, jobs that had once been considered unsuitable for women. This era gave rise to the iconic image of Rosie the Riveter, a symbol of female empowerment and a reminder of the crucial role women played in the war effort. But the sphere of influence for women was not just limited to factories. 
They also took over roles in businesses, farms, and even the government. They were now managers, store owners, and civil servants. They were making critical decisions, managing finances, and running day-to-day -day operations. Women were proving that they were just as capable as men, shattering stereotypes and challenging societal norms. Perhaps most strikingly, women even joined the military. All across the world, from the United States to the Soviet Union, women served as pilots, nurses, and support staff. Some were even on the front line serving as snipers or partisans. They risked their lives, showing courage and determination in the face of danger. The role of women in World War II was transformative, not just for the women themselves, but for society as a whole. It altered perceptions, broke down barriers, and laid the groundwork for important social changes that would continue to unfold in the decades to come. The role of women in World War II is a testament to their resilience and adaptability in the face of adversity. The scars of World War II weren't only borne by adults. Children, too, felt the impact of this devastating conflict. The war didn't discriminate between the young and the old, and its brutal realities were thrust upon the smallest of shoulders. Countless children were orphaned during this conflict, their parents lost to the violence and chaos of the war. Their childhoods were abruptly stripped away, replaced with grief and uncertainty. Homes, once filled with warmth and laughter, stood empty and silent, a stark testament to the loss of innocence. In addition to losing their families, many children were also forced to evacuate their homes. The Blitzkrieg, or Lightning War, that rained down on cities across Europe didn't distinguish between military targets and civilian homes. As a result, children were sent away to the countryside, far from familiar surroundings and loved ones, in an attempt to keep them safe from the constant threat of air raids. But the war didn't stop at altering children's living situations. It also manipulated their minds. Some children were used for propaganda purposes. Their images splashed across posters and leaflets to stir up patriotic fervor or instill fear. Their innocent faces were exploited, turning them into symbols rather than individuals. And then, there were those who were coerced into spying. The innocence of childhood was exploited, turning these young ones into unwilling pawns in a deadly game of information and deception. These children were made to witness and participate in acts that no child should ever have to experience, forever marking their young lives. The experiences of children during World War II underline the far-reaching and indiscriminate impact of war. They remind us that in times of conflict it is often the most vulnerable who bear the brunt of the suffering, a truth we must never forget. World War II profoundly affected the daily lives of those living through it. This was not just a conflict fought on distant battlefields, but one that reached into the homes and hearts of civilians worldwide. Imagine a world where food, clothing, and other essentials are scarce. Rationing became a part of life for many, as governments diverted resources towards the war effort. People made do with less, and creativity flourished in the face of scarcity. Gardens sprung up in backyards and public spaces with citizens growing their own food to supplement rations. Every scrap of fabric, metal, or paper was saved and reused. In this era of scarcity, waste was not an option. Yet the scarcity of goods was just one aspect of the struggle. The constant threat of bombing hung heavy in the air. In cities across Europe and Asia, air raid sirens became a chilling part of the soundtrack of daily life. People lived with the knowledge that at any moment, their homes, their streets, their entire towns could be reduced to rubble. Children practiced air raid drills in school, and families built makeshift shelters, their lives punctuated by the wail of sirens and the concussive force of bombs. Sleep was often interrupted, not by the crowing of a rooster or the rising sun, but by the urgent need to rush to the safety of a shelter. Despite the fear and the hardship, life went on. People fell in love, they married, they raised children, they celebrated birthdays and mourned losses. They worked, they played, they dreamed, they found joy in the simple things. A shared meal, a letter from a loved one, a moment of peace amidst the chaos. The daily struggles people faced during World War II are a stark reminder of the all-encompassing nature of war. It touches every life it comes into contact with, altering daily routines and leaving a lasting imprint on those who live through it. It's a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the enduring will to survive and thrive, even in the darkest of times. World War II was marked by many oddities that were considered normal at the time. From the rampant use of propaganda, the horrifying role of racism, to the profound roles of women and children, and the drastic changes in daily life. These oddities not only underscore the brutality and devastation of war, 
but also highlight its deep psychological impact on humanity.